It's an idea that is catching on in elementary schools across Utah. In a time when nearly one in four Utah kids is at an unhealthy weight, suddenly kids are getting more physically active, eating more nutritiously, all in a tobacco-free environment. And maybe most surprising of all, they're loving every minute of it. Why? These kids are all part of the Gold Medal Schools program at their elementary school, a Utah Department of Health program designed to give kids opportunities to eat healthy, be active, and stay tobacco-free. Thousands of kids in hundreds of Utah schools are participating, public, private, charter, and Title I schools alike. And the numbers just keep growing. So, what makes this program so successful? Just ask a principal. Gold Medal Schools helps us to give kids an, a part of their curriculum that we don't often think about, and that is to be physically fit, to uh, keep their, their bodies fit as well as their minds. Often we think academics, and that's all we think about, because we don't have time for anything else. We're required to do so many things, and if we don't think about it, we don't do it. This gives us an opportunity to come in and do something without a lot of thought because there's great support behind it. Here's how it works. As a gold medal school, you'll need to meet certain criteria based on one of five participation levels for helping the kids become more physically active, make healthier nutrition choices, and stay tobacco free. You can choose to progress through the program at a pace that works for you. Some criteria include the walking program on or around school grounds that sets a goal for each student, a policy for teachers and staff that food is not to be used as a reward, writing a comprehensive tobacco-free school policy, and providing wellness activities for faculty and staff. Now, in these times of budget cuts and strict testing requirements, some of this may not seem easy, except that we make it easy for you. Starting with assigning your school a mentor, a Utah Department of Health employee trained to help you reach your desired level of participation. Now, how easy is that? Actually, that's the beauty of the program. I didn't have a lot to do with it. They came to us and said, here's the program, and it's pretty well fleshed out. Of course, it evolves. Um, the different people have different ideas, and as we meet together, um, new things come out that are very helpful, but, but the most important thing is that it's not a lot of work for us. We sit down and we set goals, pick out which criteria they're going to work on, and then it's basically my job to just kind of come up with an action plan of how they're going to meet those goals, so I just kind of keep them on track with their goal. This is a program that is so easily adapted to any situation, any school, with a little help from a PTA or a teacher group or someone it's not a great burden for a principal, and the buy-in is tremendous. Parents love it, kids love it. Once teachers get into it, they love it also. It's a good program that's very easily implemented. They lean on me a lot. They ask me questions. They also kind of pick my brain on ideas that they want to do. If they have a specific goal they want to work on, they'll ask me, what do you think about that? Which direction should we go on that? Mentors are just the starting point of your support system, because when you join Gold Medal Schools, you'll also have access to a lot of other free resources, including state and local health experts, incentives, and ideas that'll help you achieve the level of participation you desire. My initial thoughts and concerns were, oh, this is one more program. How am I going to do one more program? It seems like every year there's another new program. And with so many minutes during the day and so many things you have to cover, I just didn't think I could do one more program. And all the academics that have to come first, I just didn't see how I could do it. But it wasn't hard to implement. By implementing it, it made the academics come easier. Your school will need to appoint a school coordinator, a volunteer who will work closely with the mentor to keep your school on track. The school coordinator helps determine your school's goals and keeps track of the student's progress. But once again, we make the school coordinator's job an easy one. The mentor is uh, crucial. Uh, for me as, a, as an administrator, I'm busy. Um, some coordinators are teachers, since I know they're very busy also, but the, the mentor really helps just outline piece by piece what we need to do, and I do those little pieces that she needs on, on my end uh, when I have time, and she helps me get them sent into the district uh, or into the gold medal schools team at the state and so it's they're crucial and they make my job a lot easier. The gold medal schools program has become an amazing success since its start in 2001. Why do schools participate? First, healthy schools make for healthy learners. Well there have been many studies uh, for many years that have talked about the fact that if kids are physically fit they're more alert, they're more awake and they do better academically. 
As we do the program, we know those kids that are actively involved. You can tell it in their demeanor, their, um, their level of activity in the classroom, which equates to level of activity academically. Secondly, participating schools can earn up to $1,500 to use toward physical activity, nutrition, and tobacco prevention resources, even though this program doesn't cost schools a cent. Physically active students with good nutrition habits have higher test scores. This program emphasizes changes in the school's health culture through physical activity, nutrition and tobacco policies, and environmental changes without changing curriculum. And it does all of this without putting high demands on school administration or teachers. In fact, it's often the teachers who see the greatest benefits of the program. I see a difference. Their, their attention spans are better. They're more able to focus. They have been able to get their energy out. They're ready to listen. Um, I think it's made a big difference than when we didn't have the program. But not surprisingly, parents love the program as well. I think it's really beneficial. I've seen some good improvements in the school. I know that when my kids are at the school, they're going to get a nutritious lunch. They're going to learn some good activities that they can do to be physically active. And knowing that that's important at the school is important to me. It's important because that's what we're that's how we're trying to raise our kids at home. We try to make physical fitness a part of their life, not just something you do every once in a while. Um, and so I think having that at school to reinforce that feeling is excellent. Even Governor Huntsman encourages all elementary schools to get behind gold medal schools. As he says, by educating our youth on the importance of taking care of themselves through programs such as gold medal schools, we help ensure a brighter future for our children. If you're part of an elementary school that is not participating in gold medal schools, we ask of you what we ask of all Utah students. Come on, get active, and give your students and staff the opportunity for more physical activity, new ways to learn healthier food choices, and the ability to enjoy a tobacco-free environment. Just like the follow-through, the decision is easy.